All right, guys, what is going on, people of the internet? My name, of course, is Panther. Welcome your faces back to the channel once again. Today, we are talking about Blackout. We have a whole buttload of information when it comes to Blackout, and I just want to jump right into this because I am super, super excited. The very first thing that I want to talk about comes along with zombies in Blackout. Now, we know zombies is in Blackout. I've made a video on this. We all know that zombies will be a part of Blackout, but here is the cool thing. Apparently, there will be AI zombies, which, I mean, we clearly knew that, but apparently, when you kill zombies, it will drop a zombie supply stash, which is pretty, pretty, pretty freaking cool. Now, what does that supply stash include? Well, it says, quote unquote, powerful and rare items, which include the Zwei Handler gun, ray gun, and monkey bombs. Now, unless I'm just being retarded, I have no clue what that Zwei Handler gun is, but having the ray gun in blackout, badass. Having monkey bombs in blackout, even more badass. I think that's gonna be so cool. I feel like the monkey bombs is gonna be kind of like a decoy when it comes to blackout. So like, you know how in original Black Ops 1, we had the decoy as an equipment and you throw it and it shows up as a mini map? Well, what I'm thinking is the monkey bomb will be something similar to that, how it will just show up as like a red dot on the map. So people will think, oh, there's probably a fight going on there, but nah, it's just a monkey bomb. But dude, having the ray gun in blackout, we have all grown up over the years looking at YouTube videos saying, oh my goodness, the ray gun is in multiplayer. But now, guys, it actually is in Blackout. We can actually use it against other people. I am assuming. I don't know if it's just specifically for zombies. I don't know if it's going to do like 0.1% damage on actual people. But the ray gun is in multiplayer. And that Zwei Handler gun, dude, I don't know what that is, but... I mean, it's got a pretty badass German name, so I'm just assuming it's gonna be something extremely, extremely badass. So I'm super excited when it comes to zombies. Apparently there will be multiple parts in the map where there are zombies. So it's not just gonna be one specific part, it's going to be multiple parts. And that makes me super, super excited. The next thing that I wanna talk about is the characters available in Blackout. Now Game Informer has revealed that there's 20 characters available right now in Blackout with many more on the way. Many Treyarch classic characters will be available including Frank Woods, Victor Reznov, Raul Menendez, and Alex Mason. There's also Black Ops 4 specialist characters available in Blackout and the new Zombies cast. Now that's pretty cool, 20 characters, okay, not bad. That's available as of the moment right now. So now the game does still have over a month before it finally releases, so I'm assuming that that number will go up, but how do we unlock these characters? Well, Game Informer says it's via missions in Blackout. One example they shared is Battery Character in Blackout. You have to find her war machine in a game of Blackout, then get kills with and finish among the top 15 players in a game. Each character has their own challenges and a set of missions to complete to get them unlocked. Now that's pretty cool. We were all kind of assuming it was just gonna be like you pay for the character skins, which I'm still assuming is going to be a thing, but it sounds like for some of the cool characters, some of the main characters, we can just unlock them via challenges. Now, I don't know if it's going to be you can unlock them with challenges or you can just outright purchase them. If that was a system, I could see that being implemented as well, although it does kind of ruin the whole challenge system because you could be like, oh, dude, check this out. I got a Richtofen skin by completing the challenge. And then your friend is like, oh, cool. I got the Richtofen skin by purchasing him. Hmm. Sounds pretty cool. So I don't know what their system is going to be for the characters, but so far we can unlock them by challenges, which is pretty cool. And that's something that we really needed to see come back, which I am eternally grateful for. And now let's talk about the perks when it comes to Blackout. Now, one of the things revealed is that the mode features perks and consumables. The special perks in Blackout are new perks, while others are modified versions of the multiplayer perks. Paranoia gives an audio alert when you're targeted by an enemy, so that's pretty cool. It's kind of similar to Sixth Sense in a way. Skulker lets you move faster while crouched and prone, so it's kind of like stock in its own way. Stimulant, increased max health by 100 points. That's a lot of extra health, dude. That's, that's a lot of extra health. That's practically double health. Outlander, reduce damage from circle, increase speed while taking damage from the circle. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is, that's a nice thing to have, apparently. If you're like, you know, getting stuck in the circle, depending on how the circle is, I still want there to be zombies in the circle, which would be absolutely badass, Treyarch. Are you listening to me? Everyone wants zombies in the circle. So you get reduced damage and then you increase the speed while taking the damage. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. It sounds like a give or take. So, you know, you get reduced damage, but it increases the speed in which you take the damage. So it sounds like a kind of like a, a trade-off situation. Then there's Looter, reveal nearby stashes and items. That's gonna be extremely useful because you're gonna want a gun, you're gonna want all that equipment, and then if you can see it, obviously that is a good thing to have. 
Iron lungs, hold your breath longer while shooting sniper rifles or diving underwater. Now, we knew that there would be sea vehicles, but this does 100% confirm that you can swim underwater, which I think we all kind of just assumed that would happen, especially after Black Ops 3 releasing where you can swim in the water and being able to swim in Black Ops 4, but that now just 100% confirms you can swim in the water. And it's pretty cool. You can hold your breath a little bit longer. And finally, Consumer reduces time it takes to use items, heal, or revive teammates by 20%. So that just basically sounds like Speed Cola on some steroids, which is pretty cool. It's like Speed Cola and Quick Revive from Zombie zombies kind of put in together. And then, uh, what was that gobble gum? Was it, it wasn't always done swiftly, was it? Now, one of, there was one gobble gum where you could like do things a little bit quicker, which, which is nice. So that is good to hear that we have all of those perks being introduced in Blackout. So you kind of can quote unquote, create your own class. So that is all that I want to cover in this video. We're probably most likely going to be getting more information over the next coming week. And especially when Blackout comes out, we're going to be playing that non-stop. So anyways, guys, if you have any questions or concerns about about Blackout that you have, just toss them down in the comments below. I'd love to reply to you guys, love to hear what you guys think about the new game mode. And man, I'm so excited. Let's just, let's just get to the beta already. Come on, Treyarch, release it early. I know you want to. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. My name's Ben Panther. See you guys in the next one.